In this video, we are gonna learn how to easily make trending Instagram title animations in Adobe After Effects. So let's jump right into After Effects. First you need to create a composition, go to composition and select new composition to open the composition settings window. Rename this composition for example main, you can set the resolution to 1920 by 1080, the frame rate to 30 fps and set the duration to 3 or 4 seconds which works well for this kind of text animation. Once you are done, hit ok to confirm the composition settings. By the way, in this video, I'll focus on only text animation. In the next video, we will learn how to export text animation as a Mogart file so that it can be used as text template in Adobe Premiere Pro. You'll find the link to the next video in the description of this video once it's uploaded. To add text, like the type tool and click on the composition. Type anything you like, for example, after framing, once you are done typing, switch back to the selection tool. Now make some adjustments to the text in properties panel. You can change the font and its style as you prefer. Next go to the transform option and increase the text size according to your needs. Before adjusting the position, it's better to enable the proportional grade from the grade options. Adjust the X and Y position of the text slightly upward and center it. Once you are satisfied, you can disable the proportional grade and move on to the next step. To animate the text, first expand the text layer, then click on the animate icon and choose position. You'll notice the position and its options appear in the animator on. Expand the range selector on, then go to the position property below it. Increase the Y value to around 23 or 25 to move the text slightly downward. Next click on the stopwatch icon for offset to set the first keyframe at the start of the layer. This first keyframe will have a value of 0%. To complete the animation move the time indicator to 30 frames or 1 second in the timeline. And click the little diamond icon to add a second keyframe. Set the second keyframe values to 100%. This means our first keyframe is at 0% and the second at 100%. To preview the animation scrub through the timeline it looks good but we can improve it. Go to the advanced and change based on form characters to odds. Preview the animation again, now it animates exactly what we want. Let's enhance this animation by making text fade in. Since the offset keyframes already animate the range selector, across the text we can add opacity to the same animation. To do this, go to animator on and click the add button. Choose opacity from the menu, move the time indicator to the beginning of the timeline to see the live preview. Then set opacity value to 0% because the offset keyframes are already animating the range selector. The text will automatically fade from 0% to 100% opacity as the offset progresses. No extra keyframes needed for opacity. Finally, rename animator on to position and opacity. So you can easily recognize and adjust it later. If you want to access the project files, you can join my Patreon, link in the video description. Now that the beginning animation is done, let's create the ending animation. For this, go to the text layer and click on the animator icon again. From the menu, select blur, you'll notice a new animator one is created. But since we previously renamed the first animator, After Effects named this new one as animator one again. Though technically, it's a second animator. Expand range selector on, then click the constraint properties icon to unlock the X and Y values in the blur property for a non-uniform blur effect. Increase the Y value to around 46 and check the composition preview to see the updated. Right now this blur affects the entire text because we have not added any keyframes yet. To animate the blur move the time indicator to around 20 or 30 frames before the ending. Then set a keyframe for offset at this position and increase its value from 0% to 100%. Then move the time indicator to the last frame of the timeline and change the offset value back to 0%. When adjust this value after effects automatically adds a keyframe at that frame. Now the blur animation affects only the ending portion of the text where the keyframes are placed. By default, the blur is applied per character. To change this, go to advanced and set based on form characters to lines. Play the time indicator to preview the updated animation. Finally, let's add a fade out effect by adjusting the opacity. Go to the opacity under the animator and set it to 0%. Rename this animator on to blur and opacity for better recognition. The ending animation is now complete. Play it back to see how it looks. Let's enhance the text by applying a drop shadow effect. Head over to the effects and presets panel and search for drop shadow. Once you find it, drag and drop it onto the text layer in the timeline. Now adjust the settings in the effect controls panel to give this text a better look. Since the composition background is black, it's a good idea to temporarily change the background color to something lighter so we can see the shadow clearly. 
you can also zoom in on the composition for better visibility. Now adjust the following drop shadow settings. Opacity increase it to around 65 to 70%. Direction set to around 50 degrees. Distance keep it at 5 which looks well. Softness adjust to around 8 to 9. After making these changes the text will look noticeably better than before. In this step of the After Effects tutorial, we will duplicate the text layer. First select the text layer and hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Now ensure the upper text layer is selected, then go to the text properties panel. Increase the oil of the position to move the text slightly downward. Next adjust the X value to move the text slightly to the right. After that double click on the text in the composition to enable typing mode and type something like text template from after framing. Once you are done switch back to the selection tool. Now play through the timeline using the time indicator. You will notice that both text layers have the same beginning animation since we duplicate the original layer. To make the animation more dynamic we can adjust the keyframes position. First deselect all layers then hit UK to reveal the animated properties with keyframes. Select the first two keyframes of the upper text layer and move them slightly to the right. This adjustment makes the bottom text appear fast followed by the top text. We are now at the final stage of our text animation. First select both text layers then right click any of them and choose pre-compose. Rename the new compose for example layers. By default move all attributes into new composition is already selected so simply click ok to create the pre -com. Move the time indicator to the point where the opening animation finishes. Enable the proportional grid to make it easier to animate the text position. Now hit the P key to reveal the position property. Set a keyframe at the current time indicator position, then decrease the X value from 960 to around 920 and increase the Y value from 540 to 576. This moves both text slightly to the bottom left of the corner. Next move the time indicator just before the ending animation starts. Change the Y value from 576 to around 544 and increase the X value from 922 to 944. Now when you scrub through the timeline you'll see a smooth motion of the text moving from bottom left toward the top right corner. If you want you can fine tune these keyframe values for a smoother look. Once the adjustments are done, drag the first keyframes to a start of the layer and the second keyframes to end of the layer. Our text animation is now complete. If you like you can also enable motion blur for a more realistic effect. You might wonder how you used pre-compose instead of a null object for the position animation. The reason is that I have encountered some issues with null objects when exporting mogat files. So pre-composition is a safer approach in this workflow. In the next video I'll show how to export this animation as a mogat file. So you can use it as a text template inside Premiere Pro. You'll find a link to the next video in the description once it's uploaded. Thanks for watching this tutorial on trending Instagram text animation. See you in the next video.